adding rational expressions with multivariate monomial denominators advanced. As you can see here, I've included an addition problem. Uh, so make sure that as you're working on these, that you're paying close attention, as you may have a subtraction in the midst of some of these problems. But the key to starting these problems is we need to have a common denominator. Okay, so we need to find the least common multiple or least common denominator for both of these. And if we look at our numbers first, if you remember from our previous topics, the, the least common multiple that, multiple that both of these have is 18. Because 6 times 3 is 18. 9 times 2 is 18. Okay. Now remember with least common uh, multiples, we need to include every letter and to the biggest uh, power or the highest power. So we've got D cubed. We also need an A squared. And they both have a K, but we need the highest power, which would be 3. Okay, so this is what our, our denominator is going to be. So we need to make these denominators become this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write this down here because we know that this is what we need. 3a, 2k, 3. Same thing here. All right, so on this one, in order to make the 6, 18, we have to multiply by 3. It has a D3, but it's missing an A2. So we know we need to multiply by A2, or A squared, and it already has a K3. Okay, so, and of course, whatever we multiply on the bottom, we have to multiply to the top. So now 3 times, of course, our invisible 1 is 3. a squared times a squared is a to the 4th. Remember our exponent rules. And then, of course, we bring the x squared down with it. Now over here, we need to figure out what's missing to multiply. In order to make 9, 18, we need to multiply it by 2. It already has the a squared, but it doesn't have the d cubed. And this is k squared. We need k cubed. That means we need to multiply by one more k. And again, what we multiply on the bottom, we have to multiply to the top. So 2 times 2 is 4. We're going to bring our w down because we have nothing else to multiply it with. And then we bring over the d cubed k. Now that we have a common denominator, we're going to add the top. And as you notice, the top are not alike. So we can't take the 3 plus 4 and make it 7 because all the letters behind it are not the same. So in this case, what our answer is going to look like and what Alex is going to want, you're going to have to press that fraction key first before you start typing all this in. And you're going to put that 3a to the fourth x squared plus 4wd3k all over 18 d3 a squared k cubed. Okay, make sure that as you're uh, entering this in that you're, you know, hitting those right arrow keys after each of the exponents so that way you don't accidentally have things up as an exponent when it shouldn't be. Um, and my suggestion, of course, would be to start, I would put in the, the fraction uh, icon first. And then click on the top, enter the top, click on the bottom, enter the top, uh, the bottom. Okay.